Weasel Egg. <laughs> what up, Weasels? The narrator here. The TV show was canceled, and then brought back, then canceled again. And now, play the game from the series that just can't stop getting roundhouse kicked in the face. Heroes Reborn, Gemini. This first-person action-adventure game puts you in control of Cassandra Hayes, a woman that discovers she has telekinetic and time travel abilities. Or, as it's referred to in the Heroes universe, she's an Evo. So, what exactly do you do in this game? Well, there's only a single-player mode, so no tossing your friends around online. But is there replayability? We'll get to that. Let's talk story first. Cassie is traveling with her friend Alex to the remains of a destroyed facility. She's bent on learning more about her parents, and good old Alex says he knows where to find information. Right from the get-go, things get intense when you fall into what was believed to be abandoned wreckage and come across some dudes with guns. And due to the high-stress situation, no! Whoa! You discover your powers and step back in time. And so the search for finding where your friend is being held captive begins. You progress through the game by using your powers, like traveling between time periods to get to where you need to be, or using telekinesis to remove obstacles. At some point, you'll meet the guy keeping Alex hostage, and he's willing to help you as long as you do him a favor. Let's talk gameplay. The play style reminded me of the game Portal in the sense of it sometimes felt like a puzzle. Pretty early on, you also come across your telekinetic abilities when Cassie comes across the... the did she just inject herself with some random needle? Who does that? Well, I guess there's Jack from Bioshock. Tetanus. Anyway, Cassie's powers actually handle pretty well. You can launch objects at your enemies, send off powerful bursts of energy, the works. The best part of using your powers? Mixing them bad boys together. Like when you slow down time, catch enemy fire, and BAM! Send it right back. If I'm being honest though, this game was stupid easy. My biggest problems, the enemies didn't feel smart. Their gunfire was very unrealistic and I kind of just eased my way through the game. Total time for completion, about two and a half hours. That's in one sitting. But it should be noted the game was only like 15 bucks. So I guess it was kind of worth it, but replayability, it just isn't there. But the game looked pretty, so there's that, right? Plus, you kind of feel like a boss having superpowers. I gave this game two and a half eggs out of five. It's not one of those games you need to run out and get, but if you're a diehard fan of Heroes, maybe pick it up when it's cheaper. That's all I got for you now, Weasels. Punch that subscribe button. Follow Weasel Egg on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Like this video, share it, and remember, never stop chasing the egg. <laughs> Heroes Reborn, Gemini, available on PC, Xbox, and PS4. Weasel Egg. <laughs>